Stuart Kern, hey buddy, uh, continue to do your um, second string E5 to B12. Major and minor. Try the sliding scale, but do it as a double stop. And make sure you don't slide till the first note has sounded. Major and minor. Continue to do your major blues scales. But add the minor blues scales, which has a flat five passing tone. Okay, we talked about um, parallel fifths in the key of E and A major. E, F sharp. I'm expediting here. A, B, back down the scale. If you add the D string, it's a, a root fifth and an octave, still not major nor minor. I call these reinforced power chords. In a way, they're like proto bar chords. It's like a stepping stone to playing them proficiently. Normally you would just flatten out to get the open one. A, same thing. You can do the reinforced power chord or just the basic power chord. Up and down the scale. And then we talked about uh, just what I needed, which starts at 7 on the A string root. And it goes 7, 7, then 4, 4. It does that three times. So it's, I don't mind you coming here. Just downstroke A things. Wasting all my time. And then the fourth one's the anomaly. I'm just gonna fast forward. You stay on the low E string and go to four. Na, 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 na. And then you repeat um, the first three endings. Um, let's see, what else did we discuss that was new? We did a lot of improvisation. Continue to work on your bar chords. You continue to work on um, the Weezer song. C sharp minor, G sharp major, A. That's a great warm up. If you do that every day, it'll behoove you. Um, and then we continue to work on what I'd say. Uh, you did great, but you have to work on your B to A. So. I would repeat the B many times. To get as conversant with it as you are in the others. And then pair it with the A again. Okay, that's most of today's recap. Continue to do all your scales and uh, have fun.